Uh, g'day back again. Uh, found another bloody 245 uh, to be refurbished. Or chuck it on the bit there, yeah, the pile of the of a 11 or so that needs to be done. I'll get around to it one day. Uh, that's the key bedding. It's the original key, the old font. 70s, I would say. Uh, it works fine. Uh, I think it's got the Daz Evers uh, Bentley out of the garage. Give a bit of a one of those things you do on a, once a month. You give it on a Sunday. Get it out. Give it a bit of a cut and polish. Take it to the uh, your local uh, deli to get to uh, get your paper and your pint of milk. Uh, so give it a crack today. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awkward. Yeah, I want to obviously take this one apart, refurbish it. It's got a few little flaws which I won't be able to get out, linish out, because they're too deep. But uh, we see how we go. Hey, there they are. Playing
problem with belly tapered pens they don't they don't give you the defined uh, shear line if it will uh, which makes it bloody awkward there we go oh yeah a tough little bastard anyway um, Yeah, like I said, I'm going to refurbish this one anyway. Um, it's got a few little indentations which I can't, unfortunately, get out. Uh, the stamping is incorrect too, it's to one side, unfortunately. Which is, no, not unfortunately, that's just a process back in the 70s. Uh, everything was yeah, humanly sort of processed, no mass, mass machining. Uh, yeah, I won't be able to get that out. It's a bit too deep, so I'll just keep that as a part of the character. And the other part too. Yeah, it's got a dent in there. I can get most of that dent out from this side, this face. But uh, the top, I can't go down too deep to get it square, otherwise I'm taking too much off. Um, I think it's been had a go at it. Someone's had a go at it. I re it at some stage. Did a reasonably, yeah, didn't do a great job, but it's okay. See the indents or impression marks of the caps. The bottom mark, for some reason, it's got little painting marks. Uh, they come with a lot, by the way. As, same as this too, no idea. But uh, the plug's actually rebated, so it gives me a lot of wriggle room to get that out. So I'll better flush that off nice and clean. Or I keep the same shackle, uh, just give it a nice polish, and uh, yeah, refurbish the interior. Um, yeah, um, I found an old body. Yeah, ironic actually. That I found it, but probably a rim similar from the same vintage. Vintage. Um, Shares the same, same key, font, etc. Any different though, the edge on this is worn off completely, but we've been produced in the same time frame. Uh, still works like it did back in the day. Uh, keep it as it is for the keepsake. Well, not for me, I'll give it to someone eventually. Anyway, I'll put you on hold. Uh, I'll put this uh, Bentley back in the garage uh, until next time and give it a polish next time. And uh, yeah, so thanks again, mate. This is this is the I don't know. This is a good one, good one for Lockwood's tapers. Don't know why, no rhyme or reason why. It's just yeah, it just works well. Uh, yeah, so I'll put it back in the garage. I'll be back in a minute, and uh, we'll get this apart and uh, go from there. So hang on a sec. Ah, uh, get back back again. Um, yeah, ready, ready to go. Basically, ready to. Um, refurbish uh, this one this one again it's been it, it, this has been taken apart by the way I'll show you why someone's put the wrong part on it but um, anyway yeah that one that hole um, should be smaller than the chamber holes um, but it's not so someone's obviously put a uh, chamber plug in the shackle Retain a hole, a pinhole, uh, which is, and they've blown it out a bit, which is not a problem. I'll just, yeah, replace like for like, not a drama. Yeah, so I'll get this um, cleaned up in a minute. Um, might have time. Uh, yeah, you've probably seen this a thousand times, or well, not a thousand times, that's the components for it. Um, yeah, it's pretty stock standard. Springs bit, yeah. Tension's a bit slack, a bit lax, but I'll see if I can stretch it out a bit and make it work. Anyway, yeah, it's all tapered, standard 70s Lockwood pins. Um, see the big tapers on them, on that one, on the small one. Um, just trying to, yeah. Unless you take them out individually. So. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's the taper on it. Uh, number two. Yeah, again. All genuine. That's uh, the driver pin. Uh, that's the genuine Lockwood. 70s. Yeah, all tapered. Which makes, like I said, it uh, makes it a bit awkward. 
to uh, anyone who's picked a lock with nose tape it up and bottom and uh, knows the uh, the story behind that they're a pain that's why I don't sort of pry on them actually I just I bump them a bit I bump them individually um, and let the tension I do the work uh, but, yeah that's my way um, everyone's got their own little method which is fine I'll uh, put you on hold again it's gonna be a 15 minute video anyway I've got the trying to kill three birds with one stone so I'll be back in a minute Ah, uh, back again. Uh, just before I uh, reassemble it, um, yeah, I've got to give it a final finish when I get all the uh, parts in. Um, yeah, I've got to go over that. Be careful with this. The problem. I don't want to go too far. <laughs> I'll lose the. Uh, don't want to lose the, uh, the the printing. Oh, the stamping. So I'll give that one more finish. Uh, well, yeah, before I put it together, I'll. Um, uh, where is it? I'll replace that, that's a shackle pin, put a brand new one in, yeah that's the uh, core retainer pin, what should, above that, there should be a spring, a special spring, uh, it's uh, bronze phosphate spring, whatever, a really nice compressed tight spring, which keeps that uh, pin in its uh, place at all times, uh, this was, this come out of it, it's just a standard Lockwood driver uh, spring, which is not good, so what I'll have to do, I'll have to uh, um, break into, oh, I'll take one off and take one out of another pack. I uh, don't have any um, any, any phosphate springs left for the, uh, unfortunately. Um, but that's fine, I'll uh, take one out of the, another pack and uh, replace that at some stage. Anyway, I thought I'd point that out, so I'm not going to leave it in there because the last thing I want to do that plug is to that spring to lose its tension and the plug to start floating because what's going to happen you're going to turn someone's going to use but well, when it's used it could potentially but like he'll pull the plug come straight out and all the guts and everything you know so anyway back in a tick and I'll finally do the final assembly so hang on a tick oh uh, g'day back again uh, yeah finally finished it uh, yeah I'll put the original uh, phosphate little spring in the uh, in the chamber for the uh, core retainer pin so I'm, I'm missing one now so I've got to try to scout one up if I can hopefully I've got one somewhere but I doubt it anyway I've done what I can to it uh, kept the original shackle just give it a bit of a clean everything sort of cleaned off squared off uh, yeah, I couldn't get that out. I couldn't, otherwise I would have had to go too deep and uh, would have destroyed the contour. Um, which has got to be, actually I've got to do a bit more just to get it level out. Yeah, so, turned out pretty well. Can't see the uh, retainer pin for the uh, shackle and uh, or the uh, chamber pin. So, problem with, it's like anything with the, uh, you gotta be careful of the front. You gotta sort of maintain the actual character, uh, the patent number and the logo, which I have. Best I can do. So anyway, that's the girl or the old girl. I'll end up giving that away at some stage uh, to someone. Uh, I don't know. Might do a buddy. I don't know. You do a giveaway down the track, you know, a genuine vintage Lockwood giveaway pack or something who knows back in a second anyway I just want to show you something hang on a sec uh, back again uh, I thought I might do a, just exposure of the uh, this is for William Mansell actually this might give him a bit of a clue what's in there so one then 20 n 40 that's a silicon rubber dress if you will uh, yeah basically it's just a brass padlock underneath um, I'm going to refurbish this more put it back together again and uh, make it a I don't know, just what I might do is just um, keep the, keep whatever's in there, standard, but I'll just, whatever the chambers, the spools are in, I'll actually, uh, I'll uh, counter them a little bit deep to make it a little bit harder or more trickier, uh, which is actually give you a lot of false sets, so, yeah, that's the inside, nothing spectacular, just runs off those two pegs off the end of the plug yeah so that for you 
for your peace of mind, uh, William. That's what's in there, mate. So that's number number one, two, three, four, five. So you got a spool, standard spool, spool, spool. Okay. So and that'll be the same right across the uh, that, that series of padlock. So that's what you're up against, mate. Not so much the drop, the uh, key pins, because your uh, key pinning was different than this one. But the top driver pins, that's how they, that's how they would lay out. Okay, spool, standard, spool, spool, spool. But anyway, I'll uh, put you on hold. I'm back in a tick. Ah, back again. Uh, this is a question, oh, an answer to a question that was, he knows who he is, I mean, he just purchased a key duper cutting machine. Um, it's easy for me just to show them by the, for the five page by the email. It takes, I think, yeah, not my cup of tea email, yeah, typing and that. I get sick after three lines, so the easy for me is to explain it. Um, yeah, what you have, you've got the, obviously, the fixed, or well, comes with one wheel, I'm assuming, cutting wheel. This is an old one, by the way. Probably your teeth missing. This is off an old, uh, uh, yeah, 007, a uh, little portal which I have, which I carry on to take on the site if I'm too far away from the van. Um, I've replaced this recently. Didn't know that Dr. Locke actually sells the uh, the wheels for much cheaper. I paid 130 bloody dollars for one of this, one of these wheels from Locke's Mr. Supply Company. Although I get them from Dr. Locke from now on. Anyway, that's another story. Uh, yeah, you've got that cutting wheel for jippy cutting keys. Uh, yeah, standard sort of 94 degree you know, cuts and keys. You're not going to be able to cut uh, flat keys, mate. With that, it's not going to happen. So, if it didn't come with a spare, with a, uh, a flat blade, yeah, uh, yeah, a wheel, you're not going to be able to cut a, um, yeah, duplicator flat key. Um, that's a Lockwood cupboard lock uh, projection long projection lock uh, that key is a short nose projection same key blank but these noses they come in three different sizes long uh, medium and short but that's just an idea that's a flat key yeah you're going to need that cutting wheel mate um, to do that cut those cuts in that uh, in that key uh, yeah, like this is the 007 a silker little pearl one um, you need the, uh, yeah, it goes in the machine as well for your depths, and uh, yeah. So without that, uh, that wheel, you're not going to be able to cut flat keys, mate. That's just not going to do it. That just cuts. That just duplicates your standard key bending type key, angular key, angular cuts. Um, these cut. These are for the that wheel there. Yeah, so unfortunately, unless you, unless you get one of those from the company, I didn't realise that um, Hudson, um, well, or duplicating ghost copies of those uh, that manufacturer's uh, equipment. But um, anyway, yeah, anyway, that's so that's the story over there. Uh, you need the you need the accessories to do the flat cutting uh, keys um, with the finer adjustments. I don't know how it's set up, but what you need to do if you look at Doctor Lock. Um, go to Dr. Locke, one of his videos, he's got actually a 007 uh, duplicator, he shows you how to do the adjustments, fine adjustments to get a, to duplicate, what you basically have to do is get two uh, generic blank keys which are exactly the same in, in height on the blade, put them in uh, both jaws and adjust the, uh, the adjustment side, adjust it to that, until that cutting wheel is just barely touching the surface of the other key. Um, yeah, that's the way you adjust them anyway. If you go to Dr. Locke, he'll, it explains it a bit better than me. So, yeah, bottom line, without that um, that cutting wheel, you're not going to do flat keys, mate, with that. Anyway, 20 minutes. Okay, there you go. It's going to drag on too long. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of the trilogy, if you will. <laughs> Until next time, uh, take care and uh, goodbye.